everyone, I'm Davey and today is a, a day in the life with a one week old. This is my first and so I just wanted to show you the real lifeness of what it's like for a first time mom with a one week old. She's actually one week and a couple days but it sometimes gets real and um, knowing that it's not all like my husband said, peaches and rainbows, so it's just a challenge sometimes, but I want to show you. It is 10 o'clock already. Um, she slept really well through the night and fed at like 8, so she'll be getting hungry maybe by 10.30 here. Um, and then she had a chiropractic appointment today at 9.30 already, and my husband cooked our scrambled eggs, so it's been really helpful. He works from home, so he did that for us. Um, but yeah, she had a chiropractic appointment. Our first one and it's good to get them adjusted because you know when they come out of the canal it's kind of just you know they're getting compressed and all that good stuff so anyways um, she only just had to have one little thing affixed on her neck but that was quick easy she cried of course which was kind of sad but you know she's all good and she is sleeping right now um, I still have some stuff to clean up here Blaze did some of the dishes but I haven't finished my breakfast yet, and I've noticed that's how life goes. Um, anyways, what do you think of my new rug, too? That's from Walmart, and it's cushy. I love it. Um, like the pattern, too. So, um, yeah, here she is. She's sleeping. She is a wiggler, and I know she's going to be hungry pretty soon. Anyways, we also started our cloth diapers yesterday. I mean, I did. Um, Blaze hasn't changed one of the cloth diapers quite yet. He's changed a lot of the other ones already, but we wanted to wait for the myconium to be out. And so I'm going to wash those today. And um, it's it can be some work, but, you know, I think it's worth it saving the money because disposable diapers, in my opinion, cost quite a bit. And you can sure go through a lot. It was just crazy how many we were throwing away. But I'm going to just finish my breakfast and finish cleaning up and we'll see when she wakes up. Alright, I'm not really sure how this works. We're just going to dump everything in. Then I have my own homemade laundry detergent. Two ingredients, super easy. I'm gonna throw that in. We'll see how that works. My laundry is in the back porch. It's a stacked, they're not really stacked, they just did stack them. So it is kind of a nuisance to get everything out. Hey, and I've been really liking these wool balls because then sometimes I can even put like lavender essential oil on it and so it makes your clothes smell amazing. As you can tell, it's not level because the door keeps wanting to hit me in the head. So a couple of my cloth diaper outer parts are um, where you can just wipe them off. So I did, I washed them and I'm just going to hang them outside to dry. And I really do like the double liner here under the, where the leg is at so it doesn't leak out um i don't remember what brand this is but if i do i'll link it in the description box but i also have the lbb brand which is super nice too but it has the like fleece or microfiber insert here and so that makes it so you have to wash the whole diaper then even if you put the insert in it so i do like these because then you can change out the 
liner on the inside. So, oh, the ground's wet and I have socks on. We're gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna let these dry out here. There's Maggie. Do you need some water, Maggie? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm just gonna using my husband's giant water bottle to get her water because <laughs> it works really well. Oh, also, I have all this pump stuff. That's not even all of it. Here, let me show you real quick. This whole tote is from my sister, and it's all, it's like two pump supplies worth of stuff. And I don't, I haven't started pumping yet. Um, I need to, because I'm a very heavy supplier. Um, but I don't even know what nipples to start with yet. I need to do a little research. Uh, I did not go to a breastfeeding class or um, talk a lot with a lactation consultant, so I need to do a little research. I did get a Medela pump for a um, new one to use because I don't, I've heard that if you use an old one, you could have a chance of mastitis more. But my sister's is right there, um, and it's been used for like many kids, so a new one is definitely good. But I'm just gonna load the dishwasher with my pump and bottle stuff. I might just wash extra um, just so I have things already cleaned out and ready for future. So sometimes this happens too. We start nursing and <laughs> you hear mommy talking and then all of a sudden um, half hour later she's asleep and you just want to enjoy the snuggle time and so just sit here enjoying her thanking God for the little blessing that she is. So yeah it's good to just enjoy your little one for a while too especially you know she's only like what I say nine days old so Give them all that love and attention while they can. Well, they look pretty good after washing my cloth diapers. There's a few, of course, they're going to get stained because I didn't do anything to stain remove. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you go. A little yellowing, of course. But hey, that is okay. And I'm just going to hang them in here. Actually, this is Nevaeh's bedroom. So I'm just going to hang them in here and um, let them dry. So yay, got those washed. And yes, I didn't have to wash out the poop um, from when she's only nine days old because it's so runny that it just basically comes out. So once she gets a little bit older, I am sure I'll have to. I'm gonna do a little supper meal prepping and um, get lunch going. We had a later breakfast, so we'll probably eat later lunch. Um, she is kind of waking up. Nevaeh is a little bit, so we'll see how long this lasts. I'm trying to figure out routine and schedule, and it's kind of hard. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to prep some food. I'm going to put it in the crock pot or in my instant pot. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, but yeah, get the salad making for tonight done, and then hopefully get the crock pot stuff all put together. I'm making a crock pot bacon and cheese recipe and I'm gonna put my bacon in the oven. It just makes such less of a mess. So I'll line it with foil and then bake it for at like 400, 425 for about 20 minutes, I think. I like it a little crispier. It'll be easier to cut as well than if it's crispy. So that's what I'm gonna do with the bacon.
Lunch is done for Blaze and I. Feeding is done for Novea. And she just blew out a diaper right after I put it on. So that's the joys. And of course we have cloth diapers, like I said. So um, that's always fun. And I realized I don't have enough cloth diapers, at least the covers. So I gotta order some more covers. And I want a diaper pail, cause I don't have one of those either. So learning curve as you go. Um, I might even look for a uh, reusable wipes warmer cause I wanna use more of those too. I use the seventh generation free and clear wipes right now, but I want to use some of the cloth wipes because then you can just wash them with your diapers, especially when you're home. So um, we're going to do a little tummy time and then I still haven't completely prepped supper yet. So it's a process I'm learning when you have a kid. So um, I don't know how some of you do it with more than one sometimes. But we'll get there and we'll figure it out. And it's just my ninth day with a baby. So we're gonna do some tummy time. And then, um, yeah, go from there. So this afternoon's been a little more of a struggle. She won't sleep unless she's in my arms. I think she has a little upset tummy. So um, yeah, supper is, it's coming. But I have an instant pot, so we'll use that, which will speed it up. I got my potatoes sitting out on the counter, my bacon, gotta greet my cheese too. And I want to give my husband time to work, too, because he works from home, like I said. Um, and he'll give me some time this evening to go for a walk. And her stroller isn't in yet. Um, we got the wrong stroller with the car seat. There was just a mix-up with that. And so, um, yeah, I can't take her out walking yet, which is sad because it's so nice today. And the next week is supposed to be rainy and cold. And it just kind of makes you sad when it's so sunny. And I haven't even really been outside much today. So I am right now looking at diaper pails and um, diaper pail liners. I bought some more um, cloth diapers um, outsides because I didn't have enough of those. So might be doing disposable for a little bit in between, but hey, that's okay. But I did notice she was really rashy on her bum with the disposable and she's not with the cloth, so that's good. All right, so we'll see what I can get done. I might try laying her down. We'll see if it works. Here is what it looks like after I made my um, potato bacon cheese in the Instant Pot. It tastes pretty good, I tasted it already, so yummy. What a day, it's 9.50, we put Nevea down to bed. Um, I got nice and showered up, it feels good uh, to be fresh, but um, I think she has a growth spurt right now because she's been feeding every two hours and that's not normal for her. So it's kind of a lot. He drove by already, I think. But it'll be a good night and I hope you enjoyed it. It's first time mom, first week baby. So it's it's been a challenge, but it's also good. It's enjoyable. And we enjoy your parenting, don't we, honey? Well, it stays. Well, it stays. <laughs> So subscribe, I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIY, home making, and now motherhood videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Bye.